going on guys? I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but it's super windy out right now, but I got a late start to the morning. It's 10.30 in the morning on Saturday, and not many people out right now. There's a little bit of white caps going on. We're gonna see how things go. See y'all in a bit. Pink. Not the smallest pink though. There you go. Right on the yak fly. Uh, I threw the shaft back for a bit, they didn't want it. Took to the yak fly. Finally getting bit. The yak fly guys. Woo! That's a that's a good one right there. Oh yeah, they want the yak fly this time. Oh another one back to back. Oh that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Took a long time to figure out the pattern, but I think I got it down here. Another nice one though, for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, damn. Look at that. This guy, straight east. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Those are like four to five pounders. Beast. A nice one, guys. They're like five pounder. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Solid fish. That's a solid one, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I'm going to go one. This time, 22 feet down. It's coming to me. Four pounder, solid. Oh yeah, there you go. Very two feet down. Pretty good one. Horrible landing. Another solid one. Oh man, guys. Oh my gosh. It's gone. Alrighty y'all, that's the end of the day. It was pretty crazy. The first few hours I spent trying to figure out the pattern, what depth they were holding at, where they were. So I spent about like three, three and a half hours graphing. It takes a lot of time to find these group of fish, but once I found them, it was crazy. I had nine or 10 hookups total, and then I landed seven or eight. And they were all between 20 to 40 feet. It's like a wide range. The lake's not even closing, but I got to leave the fish biting because I got plans. Yeah, I started out with the shad fly today. I got a, I got a few bites on the shad fly, and then some schools were not biting on the shad fly. So I decided to give the yak fly a turn. And once I put on the yak fly, it was like game over. I guess they were really keyed in on the yak fly. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's why it's important to switch out your baits and to figure out what works because sometimes the shad fly works better, sometimes the yak fly, sometimes even the peanut bunker, sometimes the mushy fly. For the shad fly and the yak fly, I'll have a link in the description down below. If y'all enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next trip. Peace.